welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is your love reading for um, any single Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus Capricorns, or if you're kind of stalking a Capricorn, wondering what they're up to in their love life for July. So here we go. Okay, so how are you going to be seeing yourself in regards to love in the month of July? Um, moving on from things in the past, like hoping to go out and find that person that is 10 cups, you're happily ever after, instead of eight, or it was like, Good enough for a while, but not anymore. <laughs> so this is you out there um, looking outside of the places that you typically look, like being open to finding that rom romantic partner. But then when you get there, um, when you start checking out others and things like that, wondering like, gosh, how much energy do I have to invest to try to get to know somebody? And this may have to do with outside circumstances. You know, maybe you're going to be moving soon or something like that, and you're like, well, I met this cute guy right here, or this cute girl right here, um, but I'm moving soon, so like, should I really invest in it? That kind of a thing. Um, that's kind of where you see yourself, but being excited about love anyway, because it is definitely um, like this new journey, like you've gone through some things, and now you're you're ready, uh, but you know, is it the right timing? You may be kind of wondering about that. Now, how are others going to be viewing you this month in regards to love? And um, they're gonna maybe pick up on your hesitation, here. So be conscious of that. Like you might be putting out some very like, I'm single, I want to stay single kind of a vibe. And so um, what it's saying is, if you're actually looking for love this month, that you have to take action. And now the secret hidden thing below that is another card saying you have to go out and take action. <laughs> you have to express to others, yes, I am looking. Okay. Now, um, what do you need to avoid this month of July in order to attract love? into your life. And what this is saying is big, um, dramatic upsets. So, you know, like moving, starting new jobs, things like that, that have to do with your stability, because that's a lot of the reason why you're putting these vibes out there. Like you don't want to partner up. Um, try to stick to routines. And this is interesting that this is coming up because Capricorns are very much creatures of routine and stability. Um, it's saying, you know, maybe creating new routines is something good, like joining a club, something that you do on a weekly basis, um, start going to the gym, something like that. Um, because there's a lot of opportunity for growth there to meet someone that is new and exciting, um, like a really fun person this month and fun more than, um, cute or fun more than romantic, like fun, 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 like adventures, like the kind of person you would travel with. That's there for you. Now, what can you do to increase, grow or attract love and what it's saying here is kind of a similar message as to what we've had already, where it's saying, you know, look, you've got to let people know that you don't want to stay single, that you're out there, you're looking for love, that it's time to change, to leave like that single life behind, to like welcome in a new stable relationship. And even though you're suspicious or worried about um, what that means for you next, awesome blessings are coming. So you would be um, setting yourself up to meet someone who's not only a good communicator, um, they're very stable, they are um, romantic, passionate, fun and exciting, all of these really wonderful things. You definitely could fall in love with someone this month. But they're saying when this person shows up, make sure that you take it very slowly, okay? Now, um, what is working for you this month? Very cool. Okay, um, by making this decision, if you make this decision to um, create new routines, to try new things, to shift your perspective, you know, you've done all of this hard healing work and to like really set your intention to meet someone despite whatever circumstances are, um, you'll attract somebody who is like really, really sexy, loving, um, passionate. And um, even though you're not entirely sure that this is something that you want to invest in because you've been so self-focused, it will be worth it. You will be rewarded for the investment that you put into this. And so um, it's like even though you're not entirely confident, this relationship will be so different than any relationship that we've been in in the past because we've done so much cleansing and clearing of past wounds. We've done a lot of healing. And so we might not have been feeling particularly positive in the last few months, but now all of a sudden everything will shift. And because you've been in that energy so long, you might not um, believe that you deserve it or that it's coming to you, but it actually um, is totally there for the taking for you this month, Capricorn. Now, um, what's working against me this month? 
Um, text communication chasms. So if you're communicating online, like through Tinder, through text message, through email, that kind of a thing, um, be very cautious with the way that you phrase things. Um, make sure that things don't end up in your outbox and just sit there as drafts so they actually get sent because there are um, communication chasms that could happen that way. Um, and, you know, in certain, it's not necessarily that you would offend somebody else. I feel like that might have been the case for Aries or cancer. Um, but, but it's more like people will read in to what you're saying maybe too much. And then they'll think like maybe you're clinging or like, oh man, they're already in love with me. And like, that'll kind of make them feel, um, a little bit afraid because we are going to take things slow, right? We already talked about that, but this is saying be hopeful, optimistic, um, seem forward focused. Okay. Now, what is the general outcome for this month in regards to love for single Capricorns? So this is interesting what it's saying. It's saying if you decide that you are going to continue to put out this vibe like I'm single like, um, and I'm going to be single, like I'm just not good at attracting long-term relationships that are healthy, you know, like I never meet anyone that I want, like everybody that I meet has uh, baggage or something like that, then that's actually going to be your reality. You really are. You're going to divine that. It's, you're going to manifest it through law of attraction um, because th that's kind of our natural vibe or state this month. So we need to make it clear that we are looking for love. So we're going to want to make positive affirmations for that. You know, like I'm looking for, we don't need to worry about what our circumstances are. You know, if it's meant to be the universal align and put things in order. Like, so for example, you know how I was talking about maybe some of you are moving or changing jobs, something like that. Um, and so it'll make it challenging to have a relationship. Maybe you're going on a trip. So you don't want to start a relationship and then go away and then, you know, say, oh, this is going to be long distance or, you know, what's going to happen in the time between then and when I come back. It's still good to invest in that because that could be your long-term forever person. And if it's meant to be, uh, you know, who's to say that the other person isn't going to get a job in the same exact place just by chance or accident, even though it's new, right? If what will be, will be. <laughs> so what are the lessons that we're learning this month? This is elevation. You're making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. And we're going to do that um, by making positive affirmations this month. So I hope you found that helpful. Love and light light Capricorn and um, love and light for your entire life because it looks like you could really draw someone special in this month and see you. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.